Okay. Uh, all right. So good morning, everybody, or uh, good afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, my name is Aaron Scredding. I'm the Director of Religious Education for Holy Spirit Catholic Schools, and I'm joined by uh, Lourdes Hernandez Escobar. She's the head caretaker at St. Patrick's Fine Arts Elementary in uh, West Lethbridge. And uh, this month in December, we're journeying along with uh, St. Juan Diego and uh, learning a little bit about Our Lady of Guadalupe. And uh, Lourdes is an excellent uh, resource for us, a great uh, person to be able to tell us a little bit about herself and uh, Juan Diego and Our Lady. So uh, we're going to just have a bit of a question and answer here, and then um, we'll we'll close off in, in prayer. So uh, Lourdes, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your faith and how you ended up here? Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for the opportunity to give me this um, this talk about the Lady of Guadalupe and Juan Diego. Those are my favorites, maybe because um, I'm from Mexico City and exactly I'm from the place that, um, that uh, what is the Basilica. Um, I start with my my um, name, like like Mr. Scritchin said that it's, my name is Lourdes Hernandez Escobar. I'm from Mexico City. Uh, I came here to Canada for peace, for work, for give a better life to my family. And um, and um, yes, so I'm married for 33 years now. I have two children, one boy, one girl, three grandchildren, two boys, one girl. Um, and um, yes, so um, uh, uh, my journey with Faye, um, it's been like, uh, it's one of my centers. Um, um, uh, faith, I think, uh, as a Catholic, it's it's one of the big, big points for us to continue to keep continue like like a flower to to pour out water to the flower is the same with with faith to continue with 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 all the things that God wants that we can do to be um, a better Christian Catholic and um but um yes so. Um, like I said, uh, I'm so proud to be from Mexico City, uh, born, born and raised um, uh, in uh, close to the Basilica. I did my first communion in the old Basilica, which I'm so proud for that, um, uh, with 50 kids. So it's a black picture, black and white. So, but um, I'm so grateful to be here to an honor to me to share the little bit that I know. Oh, that's excellent. Um... And, you know, for those of you who don't uh, know what the, the school looks like here, just around the corner from where uh, Lourdes is sitting, she's got a prayer center and she's got lots of uh, lots of aspects there, a picture of Our Lady with the Pope and, and all, all sorts of things. So uh, very much somebody who's, um, who's a, a good resource for us in this area and who lives her faith. Um, the second question that I wanted to ask you about is about being Catholic in Mexico compared to being Catholic in Canada. What sorts of things do you notice uh, are perhaps different there compared to here? Actually, um, no. The only thing that I see in between those two is that, that we are more divided from the Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico. But I think these, um, these questions, it's more in each person. It depends how we can take our faith and how we can be like big, grow, or just a small, you know, depending the person, but pretty much it's the same. The only thing that, well, because the lady appears in Mexico, we think it's ours, but it's not ours. It's there for everybody, for the whole world. But because we are, I'm from Mexico, or people that they are from there, so we think that it's, our lady and it's uh, no but it's it's uh, i think compared is the same it's depending the person how they they want to take or how they gonna carry you know like how they they um they are be comfortable in continue or not continue i think that's my answer for that okay that sounds yeah. great mm -hmm. um and i think you know it is like you say it's a reflection we all have um we all have that sort of seed within us, right? And we want to flower, we want to flourish and, and grow. And it's it's up to us to take some of those steps. Mm -hmm. um, you talked about uh, being baptized in the, the old Basilica uh, to Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City. So um, being from there, I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about uh, St. Juan Diego and Our Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, I know you know lots about this area, so I'm going to find a picture while you're talking and put it up so that people have a, a picture for what we're talking about. So uh, go ahead and start. 
Yes, well, uh, from Juan Diego, I can say that he was an Indian and um, he, the one, one of the things that I really, really, uh, um, I'm surprised with him is that uh, he walked 15 miles every day to get into the Mexico City to listen to mass to be with you know all the resources that he needs um, uh, uh, prepare his his journal in faith so for 15 kilometers that walk through the place that he used to live through the to Tlatelolco that is close to to the basilica it was a lot of a lot of you know um walking every day so means for me it's 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 amazing how people they they can walk you know like with with faith with because because faith it's something above us so for us it's it's god so don't see the 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 um, that um that that we can see clearly to god person to person but have the faith in us so make the things easy you know like that go and he was so happy until the um, the night of December the 1531 when appears the first one uh, the lady appears three times and um and Juan Diego was all at the time when appears not John person it was 57 and um and um and then he lives with he used to live with the uncle that he was sick at the time but but the when appears to the to, lady to him so it was amazing how uh, it, um, the lady told him go to the hill I had the roses the roses were the Tilma Pierce um, uh, the, 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 the image from her in that time in Mexico City it, it wasn't roses at that time because it was December and December is not good for roses in Mexico City and um, amazing it started the, the whole process in, in see and go through into the history Wow, it's amazing. A lot of stuff coming from them for both of them and, and of course more for her. But um, uh, talking about her, it uh, took my attention in everything in the picture that you are seeing now, that you guys are seeing now, you can see that the, 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 the heads appears in front of the sun, all the things that the rays that they are behind of hers is the sun, and then on the bottom is the moon. And the and uh, history says that this this looks like the angel under the hair. It's Juan Diego carrying on her to show the the word that it, it, she was she was um or old lady, you know, like that uh, appears the 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 mantle that she has, the, the green one, it has 46 stars that in the time when she appears, they were the 46 constellations in the, in the on the sky. So it, each one means something. So if we can go through to the computer and see what it means. So all of them mean something. The music, if you, if uh, a mus musicians, they they compare those stars and make a good uh, um, a sound of music, very peaceful. And the 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 ribbon, the the black ribbon that she has, show us that she was pregnant when she appears. The hands and the and the a little bit head moving like sides, it's it means that when she, that the prayers you know that the the humble person that she was, and and if we go we can go in a lot of stuff on her through in all the stuff that she the eyes of her that's what is one of the amazing things that she blow my mind literally because appears the two people that they were when she appears. When somebody did all these ones and and uh, check the eyes, the reflection that the people that they were, oh my God, it's amazing. The the acid in in uh, started in nineteen uh, when somebody tried to put a bomb in the basilica. So how nothing nothing happened with the image, but destroyed most of the part of the basilica that. Later on, they restored it, but uh, Ben, one of the Christ 
the, the metal Christ that it was close to her been, it's been, it's still been how, how happened, but nothing happened with her. So it's amazing how all this stuff, we can go and sit here for a long time and, and describe, you know, all the things that, that she brought to us in that image that we're still keeping as, as a miracle for us. Mm hmm yeah, it's, it's fascinating the more that you look into it and the more you learn about it, all of the details in, in it, you know, from the, the, the acid in the corner and, uh, you know, the material would have degraded and the color wouldn't have existed the same anymore, like it, sh it shouldn't have lasted this long. Uh, you, you mentioned the mm -hmm. eyes and uh, the reflection of the people in the eyes, the position of the stars on the mantle. Um, one other thing that I, that we've talked about is her knee, right? That her knee uh, kind of has that little bend in it, and that's a suggestion of you and know, you that can, she's dancing, right? Yeah. Sorry, you can point in in the right with your arrow in the right side. It, there, exactly. It's that black thing, exactly. That is the knee. That it means that when they, as the Indians, that would, because we are Indians too, so they just bow a little bit like that with the hands like this and the the knee, yeah. So that means that that the the humbly person that she was. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and to pick somebody humble too, right? Like Juan Diego, you know, he was a, a little bit older, like you said. He lived with his uncle, uh, sort of an unassuming person. The, the bishop didn't believe him at first. Um, you know, and so he had to go back and she called him a couple of times and said, no, I want, I want to work through you. And so I think that's a really good message for all of us, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, so coming back to uh, today, I'm going to close this uh, window off. So it goes back to the picture of us, but uh, coming back to today, tell us a little bit about how you live your faith uh, in your work and in the role that you play here at St. Pat's. Well, like you mentioned before, I have a little altar here in the in my place, and um, this is what I always come and put my 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 back here on my behind me, and I just give a five minutes, ten minutes to to him and to her that um, pray because I think it's it's a good start first of all, and secondly, it's make it's give me that strength, you know, because I put my faith on them. Uh, first of all, in God, and then on her too, that um, that uh, whatever that happened during the day, because it's challengers in the schools, so God always be with us, with uh, all them, with all the staff, with all the kids, and and as soon as I put one s a step in the school, and I know that I need to do my 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 things, um, and the role that uh, I always um think that it's like. My faith helped me to understand, and I, I can see Jesus and God in all the people, because sometimes it's it's hard. Um, we need to understand people. We need to be humble. We need to be kind, um, especially especially when we have a bad time, and people they just pass close to you, and they're like no with a good face. But but I understand because I said maybe it happened. Sometimes, honestly, um, with all respect, I ask them if can I do something for them or if can I um, pray for them because this is what I feel it. You know, like that we uh, uh, brothers and sisters. But in my work, I can put it all my efforts, my faith, my efforts, and my. Um, uh, my love. This is one of the things because with love we can do everything. Mm -hmm. I can I can show. I mean, give a just maybe people they don't want to give me the good morning, but I just smile, smile to to you know smile to them or just um um say good morning or not or or kids there sometimes come with a, in a bad moon and it's good morning. How are you? You know, try to be, and uh, I think I feel blessings. Uh, bless, bless, blessing in in my person because be part of the the the, the team in this with this school and be part of the Holy Spirit it is it's a it's a blessing for me and it's a gift and uh, put it all like again my love my my efforts in my faith in my work is what is keeping me uh, God gave me that strength to continue with my whole day when I finish I just give thanks and go. But this is how I always, always think. So humbling, I can say that I think like that. 
Yeah, yeah, that's great. You know, in the in the faith plan this year, we're talking about you know uh, looking inward to find God in our hearts and to to listen to that voice, to listen to the Spirit, uh, to find ways to arise. Uh, you know, to to help people out, like you said, to whether it's students or staff, people that you encounter, to to try to lift them up and to live a life of of mm-hmm. prayer and reflection. So I'm I'm really glad that you were able to share that with us. Um, just coming to the to the end of our time, I'm wondering if you would uh, bless us perhaps by uh, closing with uh, a prayer for us in Spanish. Sure, sure. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, Padre bendito, te damos gracias este día por darnos la oportunidad de hacer este video, por tratar de uh, expander tu palabra y de tratar de llegar a corazones no yo, tú, porque yo sé que tú estás usándome a mí para poder, um, para que tú puedas llegar al corazón de alguien que necesita. Espero que haya, haya sido de, de, de alguna ayuda el poder hacer esto, porque lo hacemos con amor. Tanto eh, Mr. Scratching y, mí, y yo pues, eh, lo estamos haciendo con mucha humildad y con mucho amor para que al, alguien de nuestros hermanos a lo mejor tenga que oír esto. Um, te damos gracias porque nos das vida, nos das salud, porque tenemos trabajo. Y yo en especial, humildemente, te quiero dar gracias por la oportunidad que me das de estar trabajando en esta, en este, en esta escuela, en St. Patrick Fine Arts, y también por la oportunidad de trabajar en el en el Holy Spirit aquí en Canadá. Estoy muy bendecida de estar aquí, de estar trabajando y hasta que el tiempo que tú quieras, uh, pero queremos darte gracias y darte el honor y la gloria a ti porque tú eres todo sobre todas las cosas. Humildemente te damos esta esta um, um, oración y quiero despedirme con las oraciones que nos dejaste. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre venga a nosotros tu reino hágase señor tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden no nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal amén dios te salve maría llena eres de gracia el señor es contigo bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre jesús Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Gloria al Padre, al Hijo y al Espíritu Santo, como era en el principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. That's excellent. Well, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time uh, with us today, for praying with us, uh, for telling us about uh, yourself and your role. Uh, and about Our Lady of Guadalupe and Juan Diego. I hope that this has uh, been a good experience for the people watching. I uh, learned a little bit more, and if they want to know more, uh, they know where to find you over here at St. Yeah. Pat's. So thanks again <laughs> for all of your time today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs>